Oh, I was born in, in the Massachusetts at the, the hospital. Boston, I would say, wow, I used to be a tomboy. So I was always playing baseball or something yeah. with the boys because the boys lived downstairs for me and brother and I lived upstairs. So we always did things like that. And But over time, because we got older, that stopped. I always enjoyed singing. Yeah, I can tell. I always enjoyed singing. Yeah. But over the time now, I haven't done that much type of singing. I lived in Somerville. Okay. Yeah. Massachusetts, and then... Do you remember the street? Grand Street. I went to, I don't know, Berea, in Chestnut Hill, and followed by boarding school at Elmhurst Academy in Providence, Rhode Island, followed by Manhattanville College, which was, at that time, in the middle of Harlem. It was a wonderful occasion because there were always sports going on, close by and just got on the D train and went down and met whatever date you had under the Biltmore and I had a lot of fun in college. It was a fabulous education. I became legal assistant to Jane Grizzle of the Harvard Law School and that also was a wonderful experience. He was a marvelous man and he later went on to be Attorney General. One of my passions was racing sailboats. And people used to say, why do you do that on weekends when you're a litigator in court during the day? Why don't you just rest on the weekends? But um, my greatest accomplishment there was to hold the record as navigator to Halifax. I can tell you the best thing I ever did in my life was to have five wonderful boys.